Hey guys, another triple threat today. This time we're doing the lawn equipment, the lawn mower, the weed eater, and the blower. Stay tuned. All right guys, the grass is getting a little too long, so we have pulled these out of storage and are going to set them up and get them ready for the first lawn mowing day of the year. We have here today the 20 inch brushless Ryobi mower. This is the RY40107. We've got a full video on this one. You can check that out. This here is the lithium hybrid 18 volt Ryobi blower. This is the P2107. We also have a video on this one. Check that out. And last up here is the weed eater. And this one is the P2200 and video coming soon on this, but this is the uh, 2200 also hybrid model. So we'll show you what we do and how we get these set up here. So as far as the weed eater goes, there's not much setup required. I do prefer to run it with the battery over the corded option just because the cord gets in the way and you could potentially cut it, things like that. So battery here goes on the back right next to the handle and it's ready to go. The only other thing that you'd want to check is how much line you have and they do have refill packages for the line. And this is actually one thing that's been probably a dislike about it is just getting this cap off. But once you get the cap off, uh, I can see in there there's plenty of line. So we'll pop that back down and that's ready to go. Next up is the blower. Again, not much setup needed. If you had had this separated for the winter, had it compact, you just need to put it back together. But otherwise, again, not much setup needed. And with it being hybrid as well, we prefer the Ryobi P108 batteries, the four amp hour batteries. Just plug that in and she's ready to go. Last up here is the lawnmower itself. Now we've got it in the compact mode or storage mode here. So what we'll need to do is simply pull the handle up like this. And there's a couple of locks on the side here. We'll go and just lock those in place. And again, you can watch our full video on this lawnmower uh, linked in the description below to see some of our full opinions on the locking me mechanism and the storage feature that this provides. But here we've got that. Just tighten that up. This one here, tighten that one as well. Clicks into place. Now I like to make sure that this cable is kind of wrapped around that so it's not dangling. Next up, we'll throw in the batteries. Now, one trick that I've done is I've labeled the batteries with a label maker and just put the, the different battery so I know which order to use the batteries in. I have an A, B, C, and D battery. Right here, we have the C battery. We'll go ahead and put this in the active spot. So that one's being used. And then the onboard storage, we'll throw the D battery in there. Now it does also require the fuse key. Fuse key goes right in here like so and that's in place. That's down and then the next decision we have is to whether to mulch with the mulching attachment or to bag with the bagger. In this case being the first of the season we're going to go ahead and bag it uh, just to clean up a little bit. It's also probably good to thatch it or to rake it up as well but uh, for this we're just going to use the bag. Last up is the height adjustment and for this lawnmower one of the things you may have noticed in our previous review of this lawnmower is that it doesn't go high enough for what we'd prefer. I'd like it to go even higher but we have it on the highest setting. You can go down but again we have it up here on the highest setting there. Otherwise we're ready to go. The first thing that I like to do is to edge, just a personal preference, I like to edge. That way when I come back with the lawnmower and the bagger, it's actually picking up some of that that's being cut up on that edge. Um, and then the blower doesn't have as much to do. But 
Again, personal preference, I prefer to edge first, so we'll go ahead and show you that real quick. All right, so we are set up ready to edge here. Now, this trimmer also has the ability to edge, and we can, there's a little collar here, and if we pull that, we can then twist the collar to the edge position. So we see it's in edge, and if we need to change the height adjustment, we can spin this here and extend or retract that as needed. But once we have it in place, now we are in edging mode and ready to go. So we'll show you how it works here. One thing that's nice about being able to switch between the edging and trimming mode is on these large areas where you've been trimming, but then there's a large chunk of grass. As you can see, this is just crazy thick, deep grass. Lawnmower probably won't love that. What we can do is flip it to the trim mode, and with it in trim mode, we can cut out some of this excess, or if it's in a hard to reach location on a corner or a tight area, we can use the trim mode, flip it quickly to trim after doing the edging, and we'll be able to trim this up here like so. Also notice here we can run along the fence and then quickly switch back to the edge mode. So we're in trim right now. So we'll run along the fence and then switch to the edge mode for the remaining section there. All right guys, one thing I really like about trimming and edging is, as you can see, it almost looks like it's been mowed or cleaned up. It's just a, it's just a good, good clean cut. Again, that's my personal preference, it's the way I like to edge and cut, but now that we've got that done, we'll go ahead and start the mower here. And personally, I like to run in a few different patterns. For the start of the season, I'm gonna run around the edge and then just go back and forth but we'll go ahead and do that now. To start up the mower, again, if you watch our full video, we'll show you that as well, but just a push of the button here, pull the handles, and it'll start up. One thing that's really nice about the lawnmower is because it's plastic and lightweight, you'll notice I can pick it up on some of these corners and maneuver it a lot easier than you could a 
more traditional lawnmower just because of the size and weight of it. And now that we've done one pass, we'll go ahead and just go back around. bag is starting to fill up you can see it's starting to concave a little bit there not quite full yet but getting there nearly full here See it definitely filling up there. Look inside and it is full. So we'll go ahead and pull that out there. It's a full bag. We'll go ahead and empty it. Come back for more. All right guys, we are ready to empty the bag. And one other thing that I really like about this bag, including the fact that the handle's fairly ergonomic, feels good in the, the hand. If we go to empty the bag here, we can uh, lift it up and it empties pretty well. Even with one hand, it stays open um, really well and, and empties everything out. And we're back at it. All right, that is it for the grass. Now, the other thing, like I said, I like to edge first because it allows me to run the mower. And that is the one time when I will actually drop the lawnmower to its lowest setting, which I call the sweeper setting for the cement. So we'll take it over to the cement. Now, basically just sweeping. All right guys, so now we are ready for the blower here. And there it is guys, all done. Grass is cut and cleaned and trimmed and edged. It is good to go. So guys, that's it. The weed eater lawnmower and blower did awesome. Cleaned it up real nice. A couple yellow spots in the grass we'll have to take care of sometime, but otherwise for the first cut of the season looks good and excited to do more. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like, subscribe, comment below to let us know what tool you'd like to see next and check out our website for more information about what we're doing. Thanks for watching guys. So I right here, right here we have the cement. So we'll take it over to the cement.
<laughs> can't even get off the grass. Oh, we'll put it back up. Okay, so we put it back up, take it over to the edge of the cement here.